Okay, students, I wanted to um, do a little bit of homework help on uh, today's homework, which is you have four slides, but they all work the same way. Okay, so I'm going to just go over the first slide and explain what you need to do. So I'm going to actually do the first slide. There is no paper involved for me. Okay, all right. So, um, and do remember for this one, you can use a calculator if, if it is necessary. Now, first, what I'm going to do is I am going to increase the size so I can see better. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so every problem, it's the same uh, pattern. So they give you a verbal description, okay? Using that, first you're going to write um, the table of values here. Give the coordinates, the x and y coordinates. Um, you're also going to provide what x represents and what y represents. And I'll talk about how to find that from this problem right here. It's very easy. Also, how to write an equation. Okay, remember when you write an equation, you always write with y equals and then x times or divided by plus or minus a number okay and then three points that you got from here that you're going to plot okay it does say click insert text box to insert numbers on graph move the circles to plot the points and adjust the line okay so let's see I can do that. Okay. All right. So let us begin. First, you should write um, your first and last name. Oh, but you know what? Just a second. I'm going to actually make another copy because I think this is the one that I am giving to my students. So copy of, okay. So I want to actually work with the one that I made copy of. <laughs> okay, it's a little slow. And just like before, I am going to increase. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It's still spinning. Okay. Oh, okay, maybe maybe it'll work. Come on. Okay, all right. So here we go. So going back here. First I'm going to double click here. And I'm going to type my name. Okay. All right. And then I'm gonna double click here. I'm gonna write today's date, which is the well, tomorrow's date is the 14th. And I am in period one, okay, or block A or B for um, Mrs. French or Miss um, Sacedo's class. All right, so then now I'm going to read the verbal description. It says, your cell phone company charges $30 a month. So the units that you're dealing with are $30 and then months, right? One of these, money or the month, one of the two is the X and the other one is the Y, okay? How do you figure that out? Let's actually start with that first. Define your variables. So I know, oh, so when you're clicking for the X, you have to click slightly above, otherwise it's gonna click on the Y. So if you just click here, okay, you might get the X or the Y box. Make sure that you click on X. Okay, how do I know whether the money or the month is the, um, the, the x value, okay, the, for the variable x. When he says $30 a month or $30 per month, the description that comes after the word per or a, usually this is your x, okay? The, and then also, usually money is your y. Your total amount is usually your Y, okay? So because it says $30 a month, month is your X. Oops. I 
okay? And the total cost is your Y, all right? Also, uh, we're gonna talk about how to write your equation in just a minute, but I already know what this equation is going to be. So let me first give that to you based on just the wording right here. And also let's talk about how to figure out the equation from the table because that was in the notes, okay? I know my equation is going to be this. An equation always starts with y equals, and then what are you doing to x? x plus, x minus, x times, or x divided by. Now, this is very easy, and the thing is, every problem on this, these four slides of homework that you have are gonna all be the same type of equation because they're all going to say certain amount per something, okay? So when they say $30 per month, that means the equation is y equals um, x times 30, okay? So because, to think about it, the total amount is the number of months times 30 because it says it's $30 per month. So if you only uh, use it for one month, if X is one, one month, one times 30, your total cost is $30. But what if you use it for two months? So if X is two, two times 30 is $60, your total cost is 60, so on and so forth, right? Okay, now, but I don't like the way I wrote this. Instead of writing X times 30, I actually like to write the number first. So I'm gonna write 30 times X, but they mean the same thing, okay? Now you could have gotten this equation from this wording here, or you could have just um, first do the table and then look at the pattern and write the equation that way, okay? So now I'm going to write some of my, find some of my X and Y values, okay? So I'm going to first start with, and oh, see how I chose the middle number? So I'm gonna click on slightly above, double click. I'm going to do when X is one month, okay? What would, well, actually, let me do when X is zero month. What would Y be? So if you're not renting for any month, so when X is zero, 30 times zero is zero. So the total cost is gonna be zero. And doesn't that make sense? You're not renting for any month at all, so they should charge you zero amount. Now, what about if you're, um, how much would they charge for two months, just being random? So then the answer would be 30 times two, which is $60. Last one, what about, um, I don't know, four months, okay? Oh, make sure you click on the right, oh, see? Four, 30 times four, $120. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, now using these values, now I'm going to um, write the order pair. So I'm gonna click, double click, and I'm first going to write the first order pair, which is, which is zero, zero, okay? I'll do a little bit of space here. Okay, the next one is 260. So 260. And the next one is four, 120. And those are my order pairs. Those are my coordinates to, to graph. Now, this is the most difficult part, I think. <laughs> Let's click insert text box to insert numbers to gra on graph. Move the circles to plot the points. That part's going to be easy. And then um, adjust the line. Okay. So what do I need? So this is something that I didn't cover when I did the video for 12-1 because I didn't think we'll need to do that here, but I need to talk quickly about scales. So when you look at your X coordinates here, it only goes from zero to four. So you just need to make sure that here's gonna be zero 
And then you, you just need to have up to four. So you can do something like this. You can do every grid, you can say it represents one. So you can do one, two, three, four, or you can do zero and skip every two lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Okay, so let me first try that. Insert text box. I wonder if I just do the whole thing, if that can work. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so let me try. So I'm going to do zero here. Okay, so I need little bit more space because I want zero to be right here and I want maybe I'll do one here two three four okay that looks pretty okay all right now I'm going to do my uh, y coordinates but take a look here the first one's still gonna be zero okay this is zero zero but the next one is gonna be 60. So I cannot have the same scale, which basically says, what does each grid represent? Here, each grid actually represents half a point because two of these combined is one, okay? But here, I'm gonna have to be actually more, I'm gonna have to make it more um, spread apart because I need to have all the way to 120 and they need to be equal distant. So I think I'm going to do it like this. Um, I'll do zero, maybe 30, 60, 90, 120, okay? Okay, so let me first try it this way. I wonder if I can make it go horizontally. Uh, I should have um, thought of it before I started making this video. I didn't see that part. Okay, you know what? I'll just do one at a time. So I will first do zero. So I'm going to go here, double click and do zero. That's gonna be this one right here, okay? this one right here. Okay, now I am going to do my next y value, which I'm gonna skip one and go to this one. So it's, it'll be 30, 60, 90, and then 120. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually copy paste this. So I'm gonna control C, click somewhere else and do that. And then maybe just go up. All right, so instead of zero, I'm gonna type 30. 30, okay, adjust your size, okay? And actually, I'm gonna copy paste this one so it don't work out. Okay, do another one. Okay, so I'm using my arrow on my keyboard. So then this time, skip two, and that would be 60. <laughs> do another one. And that would be, so 30. Oh, you know what? This one needs to go down a little bit. Okay, that one needs to be actually right about, I think here, and that will be 90. And finally, One hundred and twenty, and adjust the size. Okay, well, let's see. Zero, thirty, sixty, ninety, one twenty. I got it. So my zero, zero. I'm gonna click on this, and I'm going to move it to zero, zero, and just do your best. Next one is gonna be two comma 60. So that's gonna be, look, two 
60 right here, okay? And then the next one is 4, 120. So 4, 120 right there, okay? And I think I did my best. And then now I'm going to drag this. And if you click here, you're able to Let's see if I can make it longer and move. And I need to rotate it a little bit more. This is how you rotate. And let's see. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. There you go. Okay, it's not perfect, but I think it, I did a pretty good job. And that's how you did the first one. Okay, and just so you know, you do have three other slides like that. Good luck. <laughs> okay, but I hope that this has, um, this homework help, helped. All right. Okay, thank you.